The Byzantine Empire is known to be one of the vast and powerful civilizations which originated in the 4th century AD. Surviving for around 1,000 years, Byzantine Empire did not only serve as a military buffer between Asia and Europe, but its legacy is rich with art, architecture, culture, and literature. Early History By the 3rd century AD, the Roman Empire was ruling all across the Mediterranean region and coastal areas in southwestern Europe and North Africa. By 286, Emperor Dolocletian divided the empire into two sections, the east and west, leading to a century of crisis within the empire. This paved way for the emergence of the Byzantine Empire in 330 when the Roman Emperor Constantine I moved the capital of the Roman Empire to the city of New Rome in the ancient Greek city Byzantium. The city was endowed with the name Constantinople, serving as a transit between Asia Minor and Europe. In 395, Theodosius I once again divided the imperial administration into Eastern Roman Empire and Western Roman Empire between his sons, Arcadius and Honorus. Under his reign, Christianity became the empire's official state religion. By the 4th century, the Western Roman Empire experienced continued deterioration due to migration and Germanic invasions, leading to its collapse in 476 AD after its last emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by the Germanic barbarian chief Odacer. Meanwhile, the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire or Byzantium, was able to survive for centuries after the fall of Rome. Byzantine Empire under the Justinian Dynasty the Golden Age of the Byzantine Empire is characterized as the period of Justinian dynasty founded by Justin I in 518. In 527, his nephew, Justinian I, took power, becoming the first great ruler of the Byzantine Empire. Under his reign, the Byzantine Empire's territory was expanded to its greatest extent. Justinian also created a new codification of Roman laws called the Justinian Code, which formed the system of laws within the empire. It was also under Justinian that Hagia Sophia, the biggest church of the Holy Wisdom, was completed in 537. The Justinian dynasty ended with its fifth and final emperor, Maurice, who was murdered by his political rival, Phocas, in 602 leading to a two-decade-long war with Sassanid Persia. First and Second Arab Sieges of Constantinople As Heraclius rose to power in 610, the Sassanids strengthened their control over Damascus and Jerusalem, beginning the period of Arab-Byzantine wars. Following the emergence of Muslim Arabs from the Arabian Peninsula in the 630s, Byzantium lost its southern provinces, Syria and Egypt to the Rashidun Caliphate. Continuing the Arab conquests, in 674, Umayyad Caliphate laid a successful siege of Constantinople, and by the end of the century, the empire further lost the Holy Land and North Africa to the Arabs. In 717, the Umayyad Caliphate again besieged Constantinople, which ended, this time with Byzantine victory under the reign of Leo III, the Isaurian, for the decades to come, the wars continued between Byzantine Empire and Arabs as Umayyads were succeeded by the Abbasids, setting the foundation for the wars in the name of religion. The Crusades From the late 10th and early 11th centuries, the Byzantine Empire reached its greatest extent under the rule of the Macedonian dynasty founded by Basil I. However, the end of the 11th century witnessed the beginning of the Crusades, a series of holy wars between Christians and Muslims over control of the Holy Land. With the Seljuk Turks controlling a considerable territory of Byzantium, Emperor Alexis I turned to Pope Urban II at Clermont, France for Western military assistance, beginning the First Crusade. In 1097, the Crusaders and Byzantine forces recaptured Nicaea, the Seljuk capital of Anatolia. Alexis and his army retreated, drawing accusations of betrayal from the Crusaders. Soon, the subsequent Crusaders turned into a war between Byzantium and the West, culminating in the Crusaders' sack of Constantinople during the Fourth Crusade in 1204, after which the empire was divided into Nicaea, Trebizond, and Epirus. The 
The Fall of Constantinople The reconquest of Constantinople took place in 1261, under the Paleologos dynasty ruling the Empire of Nicaea, resulting in the re-establishment of the Byzantine Empire. On the Eastern Front, the Paleologos dynasty was continuously engaged with the Turks, while on the Western Front, the wars with Bulgarians continued. The external wars, civil wars, and consequent loss of land had largely weakened the Byzantine Empire by the early 15th century. On the 6th of April, 1453, the Ottoman army under Sultan Mehmed II laid siege to Constantinople. Ending the 53-day-long siege, the large Ottoman army outnumbering the small Byzantine army attained total control of the city, resulting in the fall of Constantinople in May 1453. The fall of Constantinople in 1453 marked the end of the Byzantine Empire and also put an end to the medieval ages. Constantinople then served as the capital of the Ottoman Empire until 1922. In 1930, it was officially renamed Istanbul, becoming the financial center of the Republic of Turkey and to date remains the largest city in Europe. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos of history.